123 points, and Nasdaq higher by 102. Several companies are making big moves. Meredith is up 4% after agreeing to be acquired by fellow media company Media General. And Teco Energy is up 22% after agreeing to be bought by Amera, a Canadian energy company. All 10 major S&P sectors are higher, with the technology index's 2% rise leading the advancers. Apple shares are up more than 2% a day before the iPhone maker is expected to unveil new products. Apple is giving the biggest boost to the S&P and the Nasdaq. And investor Warren Buffett tells CNBC he's been adding to his sizable stake in IBM during the third quarter. As shares in the tech company slide, he also says his Berkshire Hathaway has been spending about $500 million a week acquiring stock during the recent market volatility. John Lesher, CNBC Radio. Meet Vince. Vince hurt himself mountain biking on Saturday. Because weekend warrior. <clears throat> because noob. Hey. Vince is supposed to host an important presentation, but he's not going anywhere in that cast. What should he do? Rhetorical question. Vince should try Go to Meeting, the simple way to host meetings online, complete with video conferencing and screen sharing. Send out a meeting link and anyone can join from any computer, tablet, or smartphone. Just takes a click. Where do I sign up? Visit gotomeeting.com to start your free 30-day trial. That's gotomeeting.com. Have you had trouble with online dating? This is eHarmony founder, Dr. Neil Clark Warren. We've created a new solution, EH+. EH+, combines the personal attention of a matchmaker with eHarmony's extensive pool of great singles. EH+, gives you hand-selected matches and freedom from being online. Get started today. Call 855-930-LOVE. That's 855-930-LOVE. Consider this your invitation to sell. At buysellmakeoffer.com, you can sell as much as you want for the next 60 days without paying any fees whatsoever. Sound incredible? It is, and it's true. Buysellmakeoffer.com is the new exciting way to sell your stuff online. Make extra money right now. Sell your old car, furniture, video games, household items, clothes, even your home. Sell anything that's legal. Load up your stuff to sell right now at buysellmakeoffer.com. This is your official invitation to get on board to sell your stuff right now free for the next 60 days and once you see how easy it is you'll want to sign up for more because there are no item fees that's right take this opportunity to move items from the other guys and sell it for free you might even win a samsung tablet amazon gift cards and other cool prizes buy sell make offer.com is the future of online selling you can use skype to talk to your buyer or seller plus you can use video to showcase your items buy sell make offer.com Good afternoon. It's 12.03. I'm Di Rice with the only live local news here in the Inland Empire on KCAA 1050 AM. At about 5.56 Friday night, a dismembered body of what appeared to be an adult male was located in the desert area near Air Base and Gasline Roads in Victorville. A couple driving through the area made the discovery when the truck they were driving made a last-minute detour to avoid getting stuck in soft dirt. Authorities say that the body was in good condition, was in a, a condition rather, making it difficult to determine the body's sex, but a family member has confirmed that it is the body of 50-year-old Arthur Ramirez of Fontana, who had been missing since July 13th. Ramirez was last seen leaving his girlfriend's home in Apple Valley. He was known to frequent homeless areas near the Mojave River in Victorville. Authorities are looking for help from anyone who may have a clue as to why the Inland Empire resident was killed and dismembered. If you do have any information, you are encouraged to call the We Tip hotline at 1-800-78-CRIME or you may leave information at wetip.com. And Riverside police are warning parents to lock windows and warn their kids as officers searched Monday for a man who sexually assaulted a six-year-old girl inside an Arlanza neighborhood home. Patrol officers have been on the lookout for anyone matching the suspect's description. A Hispanic male in his 50s with dark hair and a droopy left eye who's about 5'7 and has an accent. To protect the child and the case, authorities are not yet willing to disclose much information about the assault. 
And comedian George Lopez introduced Sammy Hagar and his backing band The Circle at Fantasy Springs Resort Casino on Sunday, but he was met with booze by the end of the show. The sold-out audience went wild for Hagar and The Circle, but turned on Lopez when he began Trump bashing. The Circle features original Van Halen bassist Michael Anthony, drummer Jason Bonham, and guitarist Vic Johnson. Hager says, we call ourselves The Circle because this band has kind of taken me in a full circle in my career. Inland Empire weather, sunny and hot today. No other way to put it. High is expected to reach about 100. However, we're already at 97 degrees and it's just a little bit afternoon. So be prepared for a very hot day out there. Looking at your drive, things aren't too bad out there. Uh, in San Bernardino, that off-ramp has been reopened on the westbound 10 right there at Waterman. So that is good news. And other than that, your drive looks pretty good. That's the very latest in news, weather, and traffic on the station that leaves no listener behind. KCAA, 1050 AM. Sacrifice, determination. You can be intentional about your character, your work ethic. You've got to be on the same page. They were calling to let you know we are debt free, house and everything. You have done really, really, really good. And you're not going to quit now. It's been a huge witness for us to be able to share that. It was time to get serious. Intentionality, people. <laughs> The success. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. This is your show, America. If I knew at 22 what I know now, our life would be better off. It's the show that's changing the world. Now you don't just listen to the show, you live it. Live from the headquarters of Ramsey Solutions, it's the Dave Ramsey Show, where debt is dumb, cash is king, and the paid off home mortgage has taken the place of the BMW as the status symbol of choice. I'm Dave Ramsey, your host. Thank you for joining us. Open phones at 888-825-5225. That's 888-825-5225. Judith starts off this hour in Denver. Hi, Judith. How are you? Hey, Dave. I'm fine. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? I had a, a quick question about downsizing. I wondered if I should downsize or not. Downsize what? Downsize my home. Oh, your home. Okay. Why would yeah. you Why would you downsize? So I am single at this point. I, I own a four-bedroom home. Well, I'm purchasing a four-bedroom home. And was thinking of trying to take the equity from the home and just buying a condo and have enough equity where I feel like I could pay pretty much full price for a condo. Um, so the reason, the reason wonder, to downsize is to get out of debt. You'd be able to pay off the condo absolutely. in full. Absolutely, to pay off the condo in full and be out of debt. Okay. Why did you buy a four-bedroom home? You know, I had a, a child, um, mm -hmm. and now she's in grad school and doesn't plan on moving back to Denver, so she's on her own. And I guess I figured I was out of town and figured I'd have lots of family come to visit. And they, that really hasn't panned out. They haven't really come and visit and stayed with me. So I'm like, yeah, I've got four bedrooms, and I don't really have a reason to have four yeah. bedrooms, although I like my space. And it turns out Denver's got some hotels if they need to stay. This is true. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, and uh, I, would I be wrong if I added to this you're tired of cutting the grass and dealing with the maintenance? Uh, cutting the grass, yeah, I'm, um, you know, pretty much, yeah, I don't like a lot of yard work. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you would get entire sections of your life back were you to have a condo. True. Not, not, not to I mention would... the fact that you wouldn't have any debt, Yeah. Right. So it's, it sounds like to me, if you, um, the debt piece aside, if you were buying a house today, and let's say you were renting an apartment today, if you were buying something today, you probably would not buy the house you're in, you'd probably buy a condo. Yeah, probably I would not buy the house I'm in. Yeah, I would sell it and buy a condo then. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I guess I wondered about, I mean, if I, you know, paid a lot of money over the next 10 years, I would own the house, and I figured then the house would be worth more. And so maybe it makes sense to stay here so that I don't know if we're yeah. the investment value. Yeah, you can go buy another condo with that money as a okay. rental, as a rental, and it'll go up in value. Now, here's okay. the thing. Be careful with condos that you buy one in an area that is doing well. 
and that's going to appreciate. Okay. okay, you want something that's going up in value. And be sure anytime there's a condo association or a homeowners association that you look into the financial health of that homeowners association. Okay. Like I, I mean, I we're always real careful with that because you can buy a condo and then three weeks later the condo association. Um, find out it's being run poorly and they have to and they assess everyone fourteen thousand dollars a piece to put roofs to put a roof on the thing mm, okay. and so because they haven't saved up the money to buy the roof they hit all the condo members and so you've mm. got to find out what's going on with the maintenance and is it up to date and is there um you know are the bills being paid or the is somebody doing the accounting properly are the expenses being turned into the person who does the accounting properly is it being professionally managed those kinds of things so you can stay ahead of the curve on that because you don't want to buy something and then only to find out that um that there's a special assessment on the way right but other than that your idea sounds really good just be sure you check out the condo association and make sure it's financially sound and that the condo is in an area that's going up in value and that's what we're looking for lex is in lubbock texas hi lex how are you I'm good. How are you, sir? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, my wife and I are working on our emergency fund. We should have that done in February. Mm -hmm. We are. I'm kind of looking forward to the investing portion. And I was wondering, is there any reason you would ever suggest doing an annuity? And if not, where would I start looking at mutual funds to invest in? Well, for mutual funds, we would recommend you, if you've never done investing, that you go to someone that has the heart of a teacher so that you're learning before you invest and as you invest. Um, we have people that we endorse in each of the cities around America for, for several things, but for investing is one of them. We call them endorsed local providers, and you can go to DaveRamsey.com and click on ELP for investing. One of them will get in touch with you, and you can sit down and begin to learn. Um, I don't recommend an annuity except in very, very rare circumstances, usually for older folks, but only for people that have built a level of wealth and are a 100% debt-free house and everything. Okay. And the reason is there's two types of annuities, Lex. There's a uh, an annuity that is a fixed annuity, which I never recommend. And a fixed annuity is basically a money market type interest rate, one, two, three percent right now. Um, if you could get three percent, it'd be a great day. And it's basically a savings account with an insurance company, um, and okay. they put a lot of fees on them, and they don't. They're, they're horrible horrible it's like putting money into a cd as a long-term investment horrible rate of return so i don't recommend those ever a variable annuity is an annuity wrapped around a mutual fund and it keeps the mutual fund from being taxed as it grows but you pay an extra fee to the annuity company in addition to the mutual fund fees so you get double dipped on the fees they're and so they're kind of expensive but it allows the money to grow tax free and has a few other features to it but you don't need that as long as you haven't maxed out all your retirement and haven't paid off your house those are things you should do but if you can put money in a 401k much better deal or money in a Roth IRA much better deal in directly into mutual funds those are going to grow tax free or tax deferred also and you don't have to pay the double dip fees to get it okay so well, who's offering you, you an annuity um it is um new york life okay yeah it's an insurance company okay and so the reason they're doing that is is they're not licensed to sell mutual funds and okay. it's, it's a way for them to get through to the mutual funds and that's a very expensive product and I would, okay. I would avoid it completely. But thank you for the call, sir. We appreciate you joining us. Open phones at 888-825-5225. You jump in. We'll talk about your life and your money. This is the last week on the best deal ever on the Total Money Makeover book, celebrating our 5 millionth copy being sold, sixteen ninety nine. It ships this coming Monday, and we are throwing in three, $75 worth of stuff, three e-books, Smart Money, Smart Kids, Legacy Journey and Complete Guide to Money, and we're throwing in the Total Money Makeover event video and three months of Every Dollar Plus, which is the bank connectivity with Every Dollar. You can get this at DaveRamsey.com for just a few more days, and it's our celebration of the five millionth copy. Also, we're celebrating this week with something else very special. Be sure, mark down your calendar, this Thursday morning, 
I will be on Fox and Friends making the craziest, wackiest, biggest announcement I've maybe ever done. You do not want to miss this. This is the coolest thing. Join us at Fox and Friends on Thursday morning. Be sure to don't miss this. Don't miss it. Total Money Makeover celebration time, baby. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. You've heard her on the Poor Man Show talking about mastering women, which just so happens to be the title of her latest book. Now, get ready to listen and talk to Linda Gross, the expert on gender differences and the men's advocate. Write this number down to call in to talk to Linda, 888-909-1050. Every Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. Pacific is the Men's Advocate Show with Linda Gross, 888-909-1050. Let's talk where men can be men. KCAA, 1050 AM. We are producers. We are crafters of quality hay and forage. There's an art to harvesting the best hay and forage, and it starts with the right equipment. From dependable disc mowers and mower conditioners to efficient rakes and tedders, round balers and bale wrappers, Kubota has engineered a full line of field-proven hay tools you can trust to perform season after season. Visit your local Kubota dealer today during the More Power to You sales event for low-rate, long-term financing. For all your hay tool needs, we are Kubota. This is KCAA. Tired of spending too much money on an ad and then trying to find your ad in the newspaper buried among hundreds, even thousands of other ads? Isn't it time you got a great deal when you were trying to sell that car, that dining room set, that refrigerator, or offering your handyman services? Now you can in the Nickel Shopper. For as little as seven fifty per week, your ad can be seen by thousands of eyeballs in the high desert. And they're getting the Nickel Shopper for free. Call today to place your ad in the Nickel Shopper. 760-646-3654 or go to thenickelshopper.com for all the details. 760-646-3654. The Nickel Shopper. Now in the IE. Freeway Auto Center is your road to home. Now open and ready to send you home in a much better car than you're driving now. Freeway Auto Center has a special phone number for KCAA listeners. Get ready, get a pen. Here's the number you need. Right now in the 909 area code, call 269 8731. Got it? 269 8731. That's the number you need for Freeway Auto Center. Just call 909-269-8731 and ask for the road to home. You may need to unload a car that costs more to fix than you paid for it. Maybe you need a dependable car for your kids to go to college. Maybe it's just time. Freeway Auto Center on Waterman, north of the 10, has the selection you're looking for. Freeway Auto Center will get you there. Call 909-269-8731. That's 269-8731. That's your number for Freeway Auto Center. Here's your Money Minute with Market Wrap host Mo Ansari. If you follow the markets, you've probably been getting seasick lately. But what if I told you that market volatility can be a good thing? If you're a bargain hunter, this is your coupon. So keep your shopping list handy. If you're a long-term investor with plenty of time before retirement, the money going into your 401k each month will buy more shares when the markets are down. And if you have a good financial plan, you can relax while others worry because that plan will carry you beyond today's headlines. Of course, you should should always consider professional guidance before making any financial decisions. That's your Money Minute. I'm Mo Ansari. For more tips on investing during market volatility and other investment topics, listen to Market Wrap weekdays at 5 p.m. on this station. For a free consultation with Mo Ansari, call 800-388-9700. That's 800-388-9700. Compact Asset Management is a registered investment advisor. Funds custodian, Fidelity Institutional Wealth Services, member FINRA SIPC. A penny for your thoughts? <laughs> Sorry, ideas are priceless. AM 1050 KCAA.
Thank you for joining us, America. You can follow me on Twitter, at Dave Ramsey. 675,000 of you do. Thank you for that. Ben is on Twitter. What are your thoughts on using index funds as a means of lowering fees for retirement? I use index funds a lot, I, and I use them for two things. Um, one is I, uh, if I'm investing for a shorter term than 10 years, I'm, not, I'm just parking some money in a mutual fund. Like I've got some money parked in a mutual fund that I, actually I just pulled it out about a month ago because I'm getting ready to close on a big piece of real estate. So I was saving up for a piece of real estate. And... Um, you know, and so if I'm saving up and doing, you know, I'm parking some money in a mutual fund until I buy some real estate. Sometimes it'll sit there a year. Sometimes it'll sit there three years, but, you know, generally something like that. And so I throw money in there versus sitting in a stupid savings account. And uh, I like the low fees and the predictability of an index fund for that. Um, now, what an index fund is, folks, is it's a mutual fund that uh, attempts to mirror what a stock market index does. There are several stock market indexes. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is a stock market index. A, uh, the S&P 500 is probably the most famous index. And that stands for the Standard and Poor is a company that rates companies on the stock market. And they rate the top 500 companies in terms of size on the New York Stock Exchange, which is the largest, uh, is the stock exchange for exchanging stocks of the largest companies. So Standard & Poor 500 is an index that if you bought a share of stock in each of those 500 companies, then what would your portfolio do? Or if you bought a mutual fund that attempted to mirror that, what would that portfolio do? It'll do about It'll do exactly what the stock market does because an S&P 500 is considered the most accurate measure of what the stock market's actually doing. Now, I know the Dow Jones Industrial Average is what everybody looks at, but it's not really nearly as accurate because only 30 stocks in the Dow. And so this has got 500 in it. So it's a more representative of what's really going on in the stock market. So that's an index fund. And that's what I use as an S&P 500 index fund when I'm parking money for the short term. Another thing an index fund is good for is because they're not trying to beat the market, they are trying to be the market. They're basically buying stocks that are those 500 companies. That's it. They're trying to model after that. And so they hardly ever sell the stocks <clears throat> inside the mutual fund they just buy them and hold them so if you buy that it has what's called a low turnover ratio which means they don't sell the stocks inside the mutual fund hardly ever it's less than five percent of the stocks turn over in a year and so they keep buy it and keep it the good news about that is if you invest in that fund unless you cash out of the fund all of the growth is tax deferred and if you hold it a year you're taxed at capital gains rate on anything it goes up it reverses say like an annuity we were talking about a minute ago a variable annuity um you have to hold that forever and when you pull it out it's taxed at ordinary income and so you're better off to have been in a low turnover index fund than you would be say in a variable annuity as another example of why variable annuities are one of my lesser choices now to answer your question, though, Ben, is what are my thoughts on using that for to lower fees on retirement? I don't worry about fees as much on retirement. My 401k has fee funds in it, and I'm fine with paying a fee on those funds. And I buy some funds that have a load or a fee, a commission charged off the front when you buy them. I don't mind that a bit at all. Because I'm holding those over a long period of time, and that fee then is amortized over all of those years, and so it, it amounts to almost nothing in the equation. The reason people don't have money when they get to retirement is not fees. The reason people don't have money when they get to retirement is not even rate of return, which is what I used to think it was. But there's tons of studies out there, and the most recent one that I got a hold of is really pretty cool. It's from the ASPPA, the Actuaries, Consultants, Administrators, and Other Retirement Plan Professionals. Talk about a, an association of nerds, okay? The, the um, 
actuaries, consultants, administrators, and other retirement plan professionals. They did a detailed set of research on why people don't have money at retirement because the industry is always accused of charging such high fees, and that's why people don't have money at retirement. Or the stock market, oh, it went down, it went down, I lost all my money in the stock market. That's not why people don't have money. That's not it. The number one reason, the number one primary driver of people who are successful in retirement is not that they kept the fees low. It's not that they got rate of return. You know what it is? 74% of an indicator is a primary driver. The vast, by far, not even a close second, 74% of the reason you will be successful in retirement. You know what it is? Your rate of savings. Translation. If you want money at retirement, you have to save money. Uh -huh. Well, there it is. And yet all these nerds in the financial world run around, you know, carping on and, you know, read these articles and see supposed consumer advocates. It's a bunch of crap. They just do not know what they're talking about. Oh, it's the fees. It's the evil financial people are charging fees. And all oh, the rates of return are horrendous. It's all over the place. No, the rates of return are great. Fees are reasonable. They're not that high. I buy some no-load funds. I buy load funds. I just described that. The reason people succeed in retirement and having money at retirement is they actually save money. When you put money in retirement, you know what? You'll have money in retirement. Uh -huh. There it is again. This is freaking obvious. But people get caught up in stuff, Ben, like worrying about the fees, and so they, they spend all their time with paralysis of the analysis, and they do nothing as a result. Nothing. And so you end up with nothing. In other words, if you do a poor job of selecting an underperforming fund that has unusually high fees and you invest, you are light years more likely to retire with dignity than some financial goob who sits around with all his with his calculator and his poindexter nerdification, spending all his time in paralysis of the analysis, never puts money in because he's trying to figure out how somebody's trying to rip him off. Really? I mean, Bernie Madoff is not the problem, you guys. You're the problem. You don't put any freaking money in there. Your 401k is going to have nothing in it if you put nothing in it. This is not rocket science. So, Ben, all of that to say, good question, but the wrong question. What are your thoughts on using index funds as a means of lowering fees for retirement? I don't give a rip. That's my thoughts. It's an okay thing, and I used it as a point to teach from here for a few minutes, but for, for lowering fees for retirement is the wrong question. The right question is, how can I put more money in my retirement account so I have some money in my retirement account? That's the right question. And then make sure it's invested in good growth stock mutual funds that have long track records. And yeah, look at the fees. That's fine. But 85% of my analysis on which fund I'm going to pick to 90% is based on its track record on that fund. I look at the fees, but just a cursory glance. I really don't spend a lot of time on fees. Now, I make a decision on a fee, whether I'm doing a load or no load, based on what I described earlier. If I'm parking the money for a short time um, or I'm above my, uh, uh, I'm above, I'm maxed out on all my retirement accounts, which I am putting all I can put, then I'm looking for a low turnover ratio. These are some things I'm looking for. But again, they're not a fee-based decision. The decision was, I'm going to invest. I've got some money. That's a big chunk of it right there. So don't get caught up in this thing of, oh, man, I got to, you know, I got to do an index fund. I got to do a, you know, I have to do an ETF. I, I have to, you know, I have to get all, I have to make sure I don't, don't let the investment professional make any money because, you know, everybody knows investment professionals ripping everybody off. Oh, crap. That's just not true mathematically not true. The research doesn't back it up. It's just garbage. So you need to be investing and you need somebody in your corner teaching you to invest and keeping you investing and that's how you end up with money. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. This is KCAA. California headline news. The fire has been burning since late July, but the rough fire near Fresno is prompting another new round of evacuation notices. The blaze continues to grow. Air quality, a primary concern. Each evening, we're expecting smoke to drain into the valley at night and, and lift as the valley heats and air quality 
should improve each afternoon. Josh Hall with the Forest Service. The fire has burned some 95,000 acres. At the state capitol, young lawmakers say they are crossing the aisle to take on some key issues. Folks have become tired of the hyper-partisanship and are hungry for cooperative solutions. If we want to re-engage young voters of California, we have to show that we can work together and focus on the issues they care about. Future Caucus co-chair Ling Ling Chang citing stats showing fewer than 9% of younger voters went to the polls in 2014. Smokeless tobacco could soon be banned from all baseball stadiums in Los Angeles, including Dodger Stadium. The city council voting on a measure today. Geico weather, high temperatures continuing. Jeff Scott, California News. Premier Boxing Championships presents former world champion Austin No Doubt Trout as he takes on Joey Hernandez on Tuesday, September 8th, live on Fox Sports 1 at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Plus, undefeated rising star Jorge Lara faces Jesus Rojas in a junior featherweight showdown. Trout versus Hernandez. Lara versus Rojas. Tuesday, September 8th, all live on Fox Sports 1, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Don't miss it. This is an alert. If your business or church is building this year, you're about to pay more than you should. This could mean thousands of dollars more for your office, retail space, church, or warehouse. A general steel building can save you as much as half the cost and time of similar conventional construction. And we're offering rebates of up to $20,000 to help you build today. Call General Steel for free information that could save you thousands. Call 888-98-STEEL. That's 888-98-STEEL. 888-98-STEEL. Men, have you been going along just to get along? Have you been misunderstood for too long now? Well, finally, it's a show made just for you. The Men's Advocate Show with Linda Gross every Tuesday night at 6 on the station that leaves no listener behind, KCAA 1050 AM. Are you particular about the vitamins and supplements you take? Have you found that the big chain stores simply don't have what you need? Then you should know about the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. You'll find rock-bottom prices on gourmet, top-quality vitamins and mineral supplements at the Vitamin Center. Get 30% off on all supplements and homeopathic products. All, not just selected merchandise. In addition, you'll find 30% off on all cosmetics, soaps, shampoos, toothpaste, makeup, hair coloring, and lip gloss. And all tea products are discounted 20%. Why go anywhere else? See for yourself at the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills, 5007 Canaan Road in Agora Hills, or check out the savings and place your order online, vitamincenteragorahills.com. Start saving by getting what you need from the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. And tell a friend that the Vitamin Center ships nationwide. Call 818-707-0005. That's 818-707-0005. The Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. Will we see another housing and stock market bubble? Find out September 24th at the Inland Empire Economic Forecast Conference at Citizens Business Bank Arena in Ontario. With internationally noted economists hear national, state, and local economy forecasts and gain valuable insight from real-world analysis. Featuring guest speaker Melissa Francis, anchor and host of Fox Business Network, will separate the Washington and Wall Street spin. That's Thursday, September 24th at 7 a.m. The 6th Annual Inland Empire Economic Forecast Conference at Citizens Business Bank Arena in Ontario. Presented by Citizens Business Bank and hosted by the Inland Empire Center of Claremont McKenna College and the UCLA Anderson Forecast. Sponsored by Oramore Automotive Group and KCAA. For tickets, call 909-607-7265 or visit inlandempirecenter.org. That's 909-607-7265 or visit inlandempirecenter.org. We found the problem with your car. And Turns out the uh, carburetor differential modulator is out. What? And while we were digging around in there, this thing fell off. Stop. There's no automotive repair nightmares at Diego Martinez's Five Star Automotive in San Bernardino. Five Star Automotive, where you'll get a great experience and home of the $15.99 oil change. That's right, just $15.99. They specialize in transmissions, brake repair, AC, and many other repairs, all with a lifetime warranty on parts and labor. Diego knows when your auto needs five-star attention, it's never convenient. He offers a 12-month interest fee auto repair loan on major auto repairs with no money down. He even throw in free towing and a 10% discount for his neighbors in the 909 who work for the city and county of San Bernardino. Call 909-387-387. 
387-0770. That's 387-0770. Your neighbors at 909 West 2nd Street in San Bernardino. From the KCAA Weather Center, I'm Tom Ladd. For this afternoon, it'll be sunny at a high near 100 degrees. Light and variable wind out of the west at 5 to 10. Mostly clear tonight with lower around 74. Mostly sunny Wednesday. Expect a high near 101. South wind at 5, becoming westerly in the afternoon. Cloudy Wednesday night with lower around 72. And Thursday, sunny, high near 101. That's your weather forecast for this hour from the station that leaves no lister behind. NBC News Radio, AM 10. 50 KCAA. So many fans on Twitter, and we thank you for that. And occasionally we have folks on the Twitter who are not fans. And uh, we thank you because you also are entertaining. Uh, you're mainly entertaining to Kelly because she actually likes the Mean Tweets segment as well as anyone. I'm not sure what that says about Kelly, but anyway, there we go. So James, our producer, and Kelly, our associate producer, spend time combing through the uh, Hating on Dave Twitter section of the world and occasionally pull up uh, mean tweets to be read by me. And so we do a segment called Dave Reads Mean Tweets, which we stole from somebody like Jimmy Kimmel or somebody like that does that. That's somebody that's cool. So, But it is kind of funny, and it's you people are characters, some of you. So Frank says on Twitter, My wife was explaining what Lent is to our six-year-old and why she gave up sweets. Immediately, she said... I want to give up Dave Ramsey. <laughs> so you could give up Dave Ramsey for Lent. That's good. <laughs> um, Matthew, seriously, though, having Dave Ramsey in your zombie survivor group would be awful. Quote, enough about savings accounts, Dave. There are no more banks. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried about being in your zombie survival group. <laughs> I'm trying to work with real life zombies, trying to get some of them to come back around to the living land of the living again. <laughs> uh, Zoe says, no, I don't want to listen to Dave Ramsey talk. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> uh, we'll change the channel, darling. Uh, Kimmy says, uh, Dave's Ramsey, Dave Ramsey's voice is too smooth and it rubs me the wrong way. Is that, is that not paradoxical or contradictory i mean if it's smooth how would it rub you the wrong way that's weird so i mean it's like if it was rough it would do that that's funny okay cute oh this one's great ray says dave ramsey wants makes me want to shove three thousand needles in each of my eyes <laughs> this is the same kind of person that burns their own neighborhood to protest <laughs> why are you putting needles in your eyes three thousand of them <laughs> because of me <laughs> so strange Oh, and the fun ones are this. If you don't know, we're now in 33% of the high schools with our uh, Foundations in Personal Finance high school curriculum. And that means we've just graduated our 2 millionth high school senior. And so part of my Twitter feed is this hilarious banter back and forth with these high school students sitting in class that apparently have no idea that other people can see Twitter other than them. And they use it like instant message or something. They're so, uh, some of them are so technologically inept. Now, others are very nice and say some nice things too, but this is a mean tweets segment, so we're not going to talk about those. So, Serena is obviously one of those students. And I got in trouble when they first started trashing me. I thought they were like adults trashing me, and I would mess with them on Twitter. And then I got like little teenagers got Twitter abused because of me, and I didn't mean, then I had to quit doing that because I found out I was a kid. I was a kid. I got this kid Twitter killed. <laughs> so, this is like, eh, crashed. All right. So, Serena says, Mr. Bland loves talking about Dave Ramsey. Literally, who is Dave Ramsey? There you go. <laughs> Kara says, personal finance is listening to Dave Ramsey for an hour and a half, and I don't think I can do it today. I think somebody skipped class. <laughs> 
looking. <laughs> Alexandra, I'm two minutes in, and Dave Ramsey makes me want to hang myself. <laughs> Well, maybe you could tag team with the girl with the 3,000 needles in her eyes since you're into self-destruction due to listening to Dave Ramsey. <laughs> this is great. Uh, Stacy says, Dave Ramsey's great, but you should read about good debt versus bad debt if you want to understand wealth. There you go. Ken says, why do evangelicals love Dave Ramsey? Time to return to sola scriptura. Hashtag Jesus. Now, I got to tell you, I've read the Bible most of my life, my adult life anyway, and I've studied a lot. I am so dumb, I did not know what that meant. I'll be, I'll be authentic and just tell you the truth. I had to go look it up. Did you know what that meant? Either one of y'all know what sola scripture? Did you? You did? You, you had to look it up? No, you, you'd you heard of it. I'd heard of it, but I, I had to go. It just means that scripture is the supreme rule, that if, if it's not in scripture, that all doctrine should come from scripture, which, sure. So how's that inconsistent with me? I didn't tell you to do something that wasn't scriptural. Everything we do, I mean, we often talk about what's in the Bible when it says about money. So that's weird. Um, but I mean, I guess guys like Ken, they probably don't have a car. Because car's not in scripture. And you can't have a bike either. You got to walk, Ken. Because it's not in scripture. Uh, oh, and insurance, it's not in scripture. Second hesitations covers whole life versus term. <laughs> so, what kind of doofus is this? But he throws out th throws out stuff like sola scriptura. Yeah. So, what'd you say? Say it again. Twitter's not in scripture, and you're using it, Ken. There you go. That's good, Kelly. I like that. That's even better. That's funny. Uh, Leslie, fun fact: Dave Ramsey has blocked me on Twitter for criticism. Oh, that happens a lot. If you think I am on Twitter in order to put up with your crap, you're confused. I'll help you with that. Block, 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 just like that. I don't hesitate. And so, you know, you think you're going to take me to task on something on Twitter? I don't know you, little round red egg person. <laughs> you don't even have the guts to put like your real name on there with all your digital courage. So block. And even if you do have your name and your stuff on there and you start cussing at me or you start going, you know, you're an idiot and you, blah, 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 and you don't know what you're talking about and you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. I'm not taking a poll on Twitter, you guys. It's not what it's for for me. I'm using it to communicate ideas to you and have some conversations with you. But it's not where I, I, it's not like I'm going to get in some kind of debate with 140 characters with you and I don't even know who you are. So you want to start that crap, block, just like that. I just block them. And thousands are blocked, thousands. And you start cussing, you start dropping F-bombs and stuff, Twitter feed, blah, block. You know, I'm not reading that stuff. I don't want that crap in my brain. So you're done. You're done. That's it. So, you know, uh, Leslie, I don't want to bother you or anything, but you're really not that special. I've blocked a lot of people. <laughs> so you're on a very long list. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, they just added the mute button, which is not as much fun as blocking because they don't know you blocked them. Then you just muted them. So I'd rather them know. It's more fun to tell you you got unfriended on Twitter. Well, that's a Facebook term, I know. All right, last one of the mean tweets reads, Dave Ramsey sounds like the evil bear off of Toy Story 3. Destiny. Oh, he's got a southern accent. I didn't know what the bear sounded like. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I do kind of sound like that. That's pretty good. That's actually funny. Sort of. In a weird, mean sort of way. Dave Ramsey sounds like the evil bear off of Toy Story 3. That was my goal. So everyone that has a southern accent sounds like the evil bear on Toy Story 3. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. One of the more popular segments. I have no idea why, but... Those were pretty good. I wouldn't call it. There's a couple of those are A's, but they're mainly B's, and there's a few C's in there. Y'all were really reaching. There's not a lot of good hate out there because I blocked them all. Back. I know. Yeah. Once school gets going. Yeah, when school gets going, we'll get. We'll just do a, one devoted to high school. Yeah. <laughs> there was one or two on there this morning, but you probably could. You can't read those with all that, uh, those cuss words in there. So, yeah, I mean, you kiss your mother with that mouth, Junior? I mean, really? Whew, nasty. So, um 
Yeah, parents, you ought to follow your children's Twitter feeds. Teachers, you ought to follow your students' Twitter feeds. You would discover things about you that you had no idea, they say. And you would discover they, I mean, apparently, uh, Kara's skipping class. Y'all didn't even know she's skipping class. Smoking in the girls' room, you know. There you go. So we should have played that song to go with that. Y'all don't even know that. You're not old enough to smoke it in the boys' room. It wasn't girls' room, but it was Kara, so I changed it. You would know. Yeah. Nah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> it's all about hating on me today, so we're just keep it to me. Just keep the hate on Dave. <laughs> this is the Dave Ramsey Show. Down to Earth Talk, a show designed to inspire, encourage, build, and bring laughter to listeners. Down to Earth Talk, where we take everyday topics and issues and put them into practical, down-to-earth terms. Topics include relationships, parenting, finances, sports, and entertainment. That's Down to Earth Talk, Saturdays, 5.30 p.m., right here on KCAA, 1050 a.m. Check us out on Instagram where you can watch videos, see pictures, and listen to audio of all your favorite KCAA shows. That's right. KCAA 1050 AM is now on Instagram. Go get your account. I literally started my business on a card table in my living room. In those days, I was the one responsible for keeping track of my expenses. And if I wanted my family to eat, I had to make sure the money was coming in. I was a true entrepreneur. Nowadays, I know there's a better way. It's called FreshBooks. And I'm a big fan of what they do. FreshBooks is an online software and mobile app that allows you to track your time, capture expenses, and create professional invoices. It's easy and it works. Find out what over 5 million entrepreneurs and small business owners just like you have already discovered. You can try it free today at GetFreshBooks.com. Just enter the Dave Ramsey Show under How Did You Hear About Us for your free 30-day trial. That's GetFreshBooks.com. And remember, enter the Dave Ramsey Show to get started today. This is KCAA. If you're trying to prevent home foreclosure, you need a law firm with extensive experience representing clients in protecting their homes from foreclosure. The Goodman Law Firm is a nationwide team of mortgage mitigation attorneys that provides legal advice and expertise you can trust. Our nationwide network includes local of counsel foreclosure attorneys to represent you during the mortgage mitigation process. The Goodman Firm has represented homeowners across the nation in resolving their troubled mortgages. We have the experience and the knowledge you can count on to best represent your interests. The banks have attorneys fighting to protect their interests, and so should you. Call the Goodman Law Firm at 888-800-6030. Take control of your mortgage situation today. Contact us at 888-800-6030 or through our website at arnoldgoodmanlaw.com. Hi, I'm John Elway. Did you know that John Elway's Crown Toyota is the largest volume Toyota dealer in the Inland Empire? Here to give you the details is the general sales manager, Kara Brindley. Well, at John Elway's Crown Toyota, we listen to you. And ever since we've changed to our new process, we post our one price, which is our best price, up front on every single vehicle. Now, customers are telling me they look forward to buying their next car from us. So come visit John Elway's Crown Toyota today in the giant Ontario Auto Center where the 10 and 15 meet. One price, simple, no games. Hi, this is Cynthia Hammer. Listen to my show, Hammering Away, Saturday at 7 p.m. on KCAA, 1050 a.m., where we cool down the hot topics of the week. 
Do you remember where you were on 9-11? Then here's where you should be this Friday, September 11th, at the Breakfast with Our Heroes, a 9-11 memorial ceremony in recognition of local heroes. It takes place at 6.30 a.m. in the Riverside City Hall, Main Street in Riverside, and is presented by AT&T and 88 Impact Foundation. You'll hear from a first responder who was there when the towers came down. Proceeds benefit Riverside Police and Fire. Let us remember together this Friday, 6.30 a.m. at Riverside, City Hall. K C A A. Been drinking. See, there you go. <laughs> no, darling, it sounds like that every day. <laughs> Come back and join us anytime. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Uh, yeah, we have more fun than you drunks. <laughs> All right, Matthew and Rebecca are here in the lobby, are the headquarters of Ramsey Solutions. How are you guys? Hi, Doing Dave. well, how are you? Better than I deserve. Welcome, welcome. So you've got a question out here. How can I help? We do. Uh, it's a blessing to be here. Uh, we just finished uh, Baby Step 2 and uh, Baby Step 3. Mm -hmm. As we look into our retirement, I've recently changed careers and professionally, I have mm -hmm. a in my previous careers, I had a matched 401k, mm -hmm. and then a 403b, mm -hmm. and then our Roth IRA. Mm -hmm. uh, my current career offers a pension, so there's no company match. Mm -hmm. And wanted to know what we need to do with the other accounts to maximize our retirement portfolio. Okay. You're listening. Anytime you leave a job, we just recommend you roll them to an IRA in good growth stock mutual funds. And uh, spread them across the four types. We talk about growth, growth and income, aggressive growth and international. That's the four types of funds I personally use. And uh, all of that's in Total Money Makeover, Financial Peace University, anything you go through with us. Or you can just look it up online, what's Dave recommend. It's all right there. Or you can get with one of our endorsed local providers and roll it over. I would not roll it to a Roth because it's going to make all of it taxable when you do, unless you've got some extra money on the side that you want to just use to pay the taxes with. But most people don't because it's okay. probably a pretty good chunk of change, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So how much is in there? Uh, currently in the uh, Roth, there's about. 20. Oh, it's, in, it's a Roth 401k. No, the the company match first one was a 401k. Okay. And there's about twenty four thousand, I believe. Oh, in there. okay. All right. And um, with the Roth IRA, there's about thirty, and then the 403b is about twelve. Okay, the 403b is Rebecca's. Uh, it's it's mine. Also from, from a different thing. Yes, I've from, got. I've got about eight to ten thousand in my four hundred three B. Okay, currently. all right, good. All right. Uh, well, I would just roll the old four hundred three B. It's an old one, and the old four hundred one K into IRAs. Um, if you do, again, it'll be taxes and say a fourth of what's in there. So, like on the twenty four thousand, so like six thousand bucks or something, five thousand bucks. If you got extra money laying around, won't pay the taxes. You can convert that to a Roth now if you want. You can do it later when you've got some money if you want. But I just roll them. The reason I roll them out to an IRA is you've got Got control of them and there's more uh, it, control of the mutual fund selection and there's more mutual funds to select from you know versus trying to move stuff around back with an old company that you don't work for anymore and that kind of thing now your new place does not offer a 401k it offers a 401k but i figured we put that money in the roth ra okay uh, due to just offering of the pension yeah. with no company match in the 401. Yeah. First thing I would do is max out your Roths, yeah. And uh, because there's no match, obviously, uh, on uh, at your company on the 401k because they have a pension. But I would not use the pension as an excuse not to get to 15% in Baby Step 4. That's a side issue because we hope the pension comes. It usually comes, but sometimes those things get in trouble. <laughs> and you don't want to lean on that too heavily as being the only thing you have. So both of you together as a household income, when you get to baby step four, is fifteen percent of your income going in, and in your situation, I'd do Roth IRAs first, and then go over and do four hundred one k. If you need to put more in something, or four hundred three b. In your case, Rebecca, if you need to put more in something above those two to get to fifteen percent, okay. okay. But you want the total of all four things to be at fifteen percent. Is that is that all? Is that what you're talking about? Yes, yes sir. Okay, yes, cool. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to have you. Open phones at 888-825-5225. Chris is in Denver. Hi, Chris. How are you? Hey, Dave. Pretty good. How about yourself? Better than I deserve, man. What's up? Fantastic. Well, 
your rant earlier, rant, your talk earlier about <laughs> uh, not putting money into your 401k is actually why I'm calling. Okay. My wife and I have the opposite problem. Um, we accidentally put too much money into our 401k, and I was going to see how we could go about getting that back out without taking a huge tax hit on it. Why would you? How did you put too much in savings? How can you have too much savings? Um, well, we had we were maxing out our we were on target to max out our four hundred one ks this year in mm -hmm. December to get mm -hmm. the full employer match throughout the whole twelve months. Mm -hmm. But since the stock stock market took a little bit of a dive, we decided to max out early while it was low, and we overestimated and put too much into our four hundred one k. So we're going to be over by about fifteen hundred dollars. You for this year put more in than is allowed is what you're saying. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, then all you do with that is just get in touch with your your uh, HR department or your payroll department and tell them you've over invested and they can back that right out. I can add it back to a check. Oh, okay, cool. Well, now I'll just come back out in a new paycheck. Yeah, they can just back it right out. They have to be able to do that because they don't want to participate in you in causing you to be over as well. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Thank you, Dave. I'm a huge fan. I got all your books, even Smart Money, Smart Kids, and I don't even have kids yet. Well, thanks. But thank you. Thanks. So you're married then? Uh, yes, sir. Have you got tickets to the Smart Conference that we're doing in Denver in, uh, on October 24th? Oh, Dave, you hurt me. I, uh, my wife and I work overseas, and I would love to come to that, but we're not going to be home again until about next May. So oh. I'm hoping you don't retire before oh. then. Well, probably not before May. I'm, everybody else around this building's <laughs> hoping I don't retire before May either because they all want to keep working. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be doing another one. I don't know when we'll be back to Denver, but we'll catch you another time, brother. Thanks for calling in. Open phones at 888-825-5225. Natalie is with us in Columbia, South Carolina. Hi, Natalie. How are you? I am doing great, Dave. Thanks. Good. How can I help? My question is, my husband and I are having to make the decision soon as to whether to start taking out our required minimum distribution or jump to our guaranteed income um, on his 401k plan. Uh, okay. Do you need the money? We do not need the money. Then the minimum would be the best. Well, except for my thought is if we started with the guaranteed income, we could do more traveling, visiting grandkids that don't live right by us, things like that. Hey, but you don't, that have to, you don't have to do a guaranteed income. You're converting it to an annuity when you're doing that. You can just say, I want a certain amount of dollars to come out, and they have to exceed the minimum. That's all. Oh, okay. So you can just okay. say, so what is the minimum? Have you done the calculation? Um, as far as per year? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it would be about 4000 a year. Okay. So let's pretend you wanted to travel and so you wanted to take out um, 14000 Mm-hmm. Then you just say take 14000 out and you can receive the money monthly. Okay. And they just, right. they just they can just take it straight out of there. As long as you exceed the four thousand, you're fine on meeting the minimums. And after that, just rock on. Okay. Yeah, they'll set. That they can set it. Good. They can set it up to send you the amount it makes in terms of rate of return, uh, or a fixed amount of dollars per month, whatever. So you can just say, you know, I want two thousand dollars a month. That's twenty four thousand a year. I want a thousand dollars a month. That's twelve thousand a year. Or okay. fifteen hundred a month. That's eighteen thousand a year. Whatever. And okay. that'll give and you. And we the, wouldn't have to do the same thing every year. No, you can change it. Okay. As long as you exceed the minimum. Okay. With okay. what you take out each year, each calendar year, you've got to exceed your minimum. But okay. other than that, and it sounds like you want to use some of the money for retirement, so that's fine. And you don't yeah. have other money to travel and that kind of stuff with other than this? Um, we do, but we are helping right now with two adult children with mental illness. Mm. So not a lot extra to do some traveling that we would like mm. to do. I mean, we're doing fine. We've okay. got plenty of retirements and that type of thing for normal stuff and mm. some traveling. Well, if but, you if you um, have enough in other funds, that's why I was asking, it, this money's not being taxed until you pull it out. Correct. And it's growing tax deferred continually. So I'm going to use this money last, but I'm going to okay. use it. It's okay to use it. It's fine to use it. But it's just going to be the last of your funds, of your buckets that I want to empty because it is growing tax deferred. So, very cool. Hey, thanks for calling in. That puts this hour of the Dave Ramsey Show in the books.
budget? I hate budgeting. It's like my least favorite thing to do. Tends to be really tense. We usually don't talk about it unless we need to. It's one of those chores that you tend to put off and put off and put off. I know it's something I need to do, but I don't necessarily. This have. week, Michelle Skeen's guest on Tuesday's Relationships 2.0 will be Stephanie Sarkis, PhD and author of Natural Relief for Adult ADHD. If you're looking for proven effective alternative treatments to medicine to get your ADHD under control, tune in Tuesday afternoon at 3 on KCAA 1050 AM. This is KCAA Loma Linda, the station that leaves no listener behind. CNBC News is next, a courtesy of BuySellMakeOffer.com, where you can post a video about items you have for sale. Sign up now. It's free. I'm Chris Maurer, CNBC Business Radio. Traders are back from the Labor Day holiday in a buying mood. The market's rallying today after suffering their second worst week of the year. On Friday, the Dow plunged 273 points in reaction to mixed employment data, which didn't offer any direction as to whether the Fed would begin hiking interest rates rates this month. Right now, the Dow's up 353 points, the Nasdaq higher by 111. Media General is buying Meredith Corp for nearly 